Hello guys, welcome back to in 5 minutes. We have already seen the logic families, okay, different logic families and their properties we have seen. Now depending on that function and the particularly fan in fan out characteristics, we are proceeding towards the new topic TTL to CMOS interfacing. TTL to CMOS interface simply means we have a TTL driver or the TTL output profile which is going to drive the CMOS gates means how to drive CMOS with the help of TTL now to drive CMOS with the help of TTL the output properties of the TTL should match with the input properties of the CMOS families now what are these properties let us see uh, we are considering a voltage supply of 5 volts both the systems are working on the 5 volt DC supply let me clear one point here so uh, what I am going to make here first of all supply voltage is of 5 volts DC now for this 5 volt DC supply there is a profile for TTS and CMOS drawn here they are showing the indeterminate state in between logic high and logic low for both of the families TTL and CMOS so particularly for uh, the TTL logic 0 volts to 0 0.4 volts is treated as logic low whereas logic high is treated from 2.4 volts till the 5 volts since we are using the voltage supply of 5 volts and same as that for the CMOS we have zero logic or the logic low is determined by the voltage supply 0 volts to 1.5 volts and logic high state is obtained at 3 point volts to 5 volts now somehow we have to match the TTL and the CMOS now TTL is going to the input side and CMOS is nothing but the load and we have to match the logic low and logic high state of the both of the logics that is called as the interfacing okay let us start from the TTL logic so TTL if TTL output is low so this is TTL output profile and this is going to the CMOS input profile now this output profile of TTL showing logic low for 0 to 4.4 volts now if TTL gives output logic low it will be well fitted in the window of CMOS logic low that is nothing but 0 to 0.4 here so it will be well fitted in this window so no need to add up some changes because the logic low is same as for both for the worst case condition logic low is 0.4 volts in the TTL logic that is also fitted well because it is having range from 0 to 1.5 volts in the CMOS family so no need to do any changes for logic low but if you see logic high straight so TTL is going logic high for 2.4 volts to up to 5 volts means the worst case condition TTL can give logic high at 2.4 volts but if the 2.4 volt is directly given to the CMOS so it is going into the indeterminate state of the CMOS gate and it might be possible that definitely the CMOS will not be driven okay so that will be a major malfunctioning so somehow we have to correlate 2.4 volts to 3.4 volts it should be like this and 5 volts to 5 volts means somehow we have to pull up this 2.4 volts means whenever there is a TTL output 2.4 volts it should be given to the CMOS as 3.5 volts so we have to boost up the voltage by some procedure 